everybody! Hello! Today I have a very special guest on my channel. This is my dad, Bubsy, Popsy, Otosan, Papachan. <laughs> oh, my only daughter. Yes! And uh, many people have said we look like photocopies of it, or I look like a photocopy of him. And actually, I can't see it, but people confirm it all the time. So, makes me proud and happy. So, Dad, I have you here for your very unique special talent. Would you like to explain to us what your uniquest talent is? When I was at university many, many years ago, my roommate and I decided for the fun of it to speak backwards, to, to change every single word in Afrikaans, our home language, backwards. And we later spoke quite fluently yes. on campus. You still do. Yeah, I'm a bit rusty now, but um, we practice this so often that it comes naturally almost. So, as ek iets nou in Afrikaans moet sê, sa ek oon steini snakir fatium is, I just repeated the same sentence backwards. It sounds like Latin. Yes, and we started practicing uh, changing difficult words like the Afrikaans word for library is bibliotheek and backwards it's kietwilbib or Johannesburg groepsenawoy. <laughs> so we, we love the sound of it <laughs> and then we started making fun of it because we, we spoke like this on campus and people looked at us quite surprised. <laughs> And the, the strangest language we could think of at that stage was Hungarian. Well, let me tell this story. Our men's hostel once had a tea or a coffee evening with a women's hostel. And my roommate and I decided beforehand to tell the story that I'm a Hungarian exchange student. I can't speak English fluently, but somehow he can translate a bit in Hungarian. So we sat there the whole evening, I didn't say a word, and um, at one stage, uh, Aubrey, my roommate, said, um, excuse this guy, he's, he's an exchange student from Hungary, and of course, all the eyes were fixed on me, and they said, oh, let him say something in Hungarian, and the roommate translated, spoke backwards to me, and said, well, say something, and I was so caught, caught, off, guard. caught off guard that I repeated the months of the year backwards, just to say something. Until today, I, I remember that the one student said, is that how a Hungarian student looks like? <laughs> and I think until today, there must be people that believe that year there was a Hungarian exchange so, student. Can you show us how you said the months of the year oh, in Afrikaans a, backwards? Uh, <laughs> etc. So, <laughs> very oh, funny. That is hilarious. Yeah. Can we try and have a very slow conversation where I speak Afrikaans and you speak backwards, but my brain needs to translate every word. So oh, let's give it a go. You have to make it easy for me because I don't speak backwards. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay. Tav liv ei oon roe slesig. Wat wil jy oor gesels? Very good, you see? Means what do you want to talk about? So I can't speak backwards. Ka live trop <laughs> tarp tarp. <laughs> I want Ruhe. to speak about Yenachit. Um how do you say anything? Stay enig stay. Enig stay. Enig stay. Enig anything. Give me a subject. Just um, start speaking. What are we going to do after this? Wat gaan ons hier na doen? Stonach an Eifert Nicklev. Ons gaan na a uh, coffee bunkel. Yes. We're going to a coffee shop. Kenach Seal. Einach Real. Ek kan. Ek gaan. Ek gaan. Lees. Jy gaan leer. Dad, I think you have an amazing talent. And why I started with that. Heavens no. <laughs> uh, but you don't write backwards. No, no. But I write in a... Oh, that's another that's story. That's another story. Would you like to share a bit? Yes. Back in the good old days, after I completed my university studies, it was compulsory for young white men to go to the army. I did my military training and we, we were posted 
to the border of South Africa to defend the country against terrorists infiltrating from neighboring countries. So I had a lot of emotions that I tried to make sense of and I started with a little diary. But I was concerned that the lieutenant would get hold of it and make fun of me. So I devised my own writing language. I chose easy symbols for the vowels, a little dot or a squiggle, quick squiggle, and then I developed the whole alphabet. So there is the alphabet with the letters I devised for each letter of the alphabet. And here are the words that I most often used in Afrikaans with the single symbols to represent them. There's my word for library, for a shop, etc. And I started write, writing in, in that way. And I, I still have my diaries that I wrote there. And it's actually quicker and faster to write in that script than I can in English or Afrikaans. Because you've made entire words into symbols as well. Yes. Such as? Well, let me show you an example. Can we? Yes, of is course. It possible? Now, what I'm going to show you is something that I framed. And the heading says, this year, 1984, with a picture of myself. Everything is written in my script. So just to give an idea how it looks like. And let's see if I can still read it. So the first point, life is yours for the making. And you can see, for example, that this sign is a single squiggle because I've got, I, I combined T-H-E and made a, a single sign for it because one uses it so often. Many people pursue dreams, but only a few catch them. And let's try the last one. You are able to do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth you. So, these were my, my dreams, my life philosophies, what have you. That is fascinating. Thank you for sharing. And the most recent thing you wrote in your script was instructions on how to make porridge. Oh my goodness, yes. Yes. Do you, you, you want to show it? Because it's still... I'll, sh I'll put in a video. Yes. So what was that for? Well, your mom gave me an easy recipe to make porridge and I thought, why not write it in my script uh, so that only I can read it and I can brag a bit <laughs> about this funny script. So it's still written on the kitchen. Uh, on the so, white, on the blackboard on in the, the blackboard kitchen. On the blackboard in the kitchen. And you've actually used your script in official business meetings as well. Oh, that was such fun! In Japan, when we posted in Japan, and I attended some other uh, political meeting, I remember it was the diplomat of Zambia sitting next to me. And also, I must say, I, I tried to poke fun. And I started writing in my script, as if I was taking minutes of the meeting and I saw the guy glancing over and glancing over and at some stage he he was just too curious and he said I didn't know you can write hiragana so fluently <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was hiragana yes uh, what did you say to that I said well one has to practice didn't you <laughs> yeah, <I> did. <laughs> That's hilarious, oh. Dad. You have a good sense of humor. Yes. So you have your interest in, in different languages, but I have my own unique way of, yeah. of writing and expressing myself. Even my passwords um, on my computer at work, I openly wrote in my... Script. Uh, yeah. On script. Because no one can read it. Yes. Yeah. And what makes it so confusing is it's not just A, B, C, D, E. It's like this, that, this morning, today, tomorrow, those are entire symbols in addition to exactly. the alphabet you divide. Yes. So it's like a combination of Chinese characters with letters. Exactly, and that's why I can write faster that way than 
in Afrikaans or English where you write the whole word. But I think you, you did the same with your... With Chinese, Chinese. with Mandarin Chinese, it's faster to write yeah. a single character than an entire word. I wonder if some of my genes found their way to you and influenced you to become interested in your Probably. languages. Do you want to Who say knows? your little Latin? I, I did Latin, but only one year as part of my law degree studies at university. And I once found a Latin Bible and I thought I'll buy it just to try to keep my Latin alive. But of course I can't read it fluently. So when the pastor reads from the Bible, I can follow in Latin and it's, it's quite interesting to see some of the words. For example, the word for love in Latin is charitas and that's where charity comes mm. from, just as an illustration. But I remember, must have been around 2008, we were in Dubai on our way to the church and of course my little Latin Bible came along. You picked up the Bible and you said, Dad, who are you fooling? What? I don't remember that. Yes. And I said, test me. And now I knew I was in big trouble. Uh, and what did you do? You looked up probably the most well-known verse in the Bible, yeah. John 3, 16. For so God loved the world that he sent his only son. Yeah. And that was the only verse that I memorized <laughs> in Latin. So when you said John 3.16, without you even reading the Latin, I came up with a Latin verse. Si. Sic enum Deus delixit mundum, ut filium sum unigenitum daret, ut omnis qui credit in eum non pareat, sed habeat vitam aeternam, but have life eternal. Wow. Yeah, you, you were impressed at that well, stage. I'm still impressed. <laughs> well, Dad, that was very impressive. Thank you for sharing your talents my, with... My quirkiness. Your quirkiness with my channel. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to say to my viewers before we close off? Well, perhaps with reference to that bit that I read from my funny script, many people pursue dreams, but only a few catch them. So pursue and catch your dreams. Very inspiring. Thank you, Pop. It uh, was lovely to have you on my channel. Thank you that you lured this shy introvert to actually speak on camera. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, everyone. Goodbye. Okay, you like water or sack? Who is the winter? Sit drag up it. I scratch your boat drag. My bank sit water. Sit a kiss on your boat. My goodness, Lindy, is here. I clicked down. Who is here longer? I think you're so good. So, don't forget.